Legendary game designer Shigeru Miyamoto once said that one of the most important parts of any game is the first 10 minutes. It's a principle that's based on the idea that if the player doesn't like what's immediately in front of them, they'll have no other choice but to put the controller down. These phenomenal openings in particular managed to teach us all their valuable mechanics while making one hell of an impression. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are eight recent video game openings that blew you away. Number eight, Metroid Dread. Unlike the other entries on this list, Metroid Dread lets the gameplay do the talking while the story takes a backseat. It starts like many other games in the franchise, with Samus landing on ZDR and shortly afterward getting her previously gained powers drained. And just like that, you're in control. Now it's nothing but exploration. There's a deep sense of atmosphere in each of the first rooms you visit. It's all unexplored, empty, abandoned, and all you can do is slowly get used to the controls as you wander deeper into the unknown. As you do, questions start to form in your head. What happened to this place? Who are these weird creatures? And most importantly, what's going to be in the next room? These questions alongside the slow reveal of the opening make it incredibly hard to stop playing as you become very engrossed in the Metroidvania world unraveling in front of you. Number 7. The Last of Us Part 2 When talking about the most celebrated openings in games, one title you'll always see brought up is the first Last of Us game. Showing you the start of the zombie apocalypse through the eyes of Joel's daughter as you witness the world fall apart is cinematic, heartbreaking, and perfectly introduces you to the main themes and ideas of the game. While the second entry might not reach the same levels as the first, it's still one of the greatest openings of recent times. It's a more quiet and concentrated opening than the first game, with a brief recap of events from the first and then digging into the deep and meaningful dialogue that Naughty Dog is known for. The conversations ease you into the world as well as show new players the dynamic between iconic characters Ellie and Joel. Afterwards, you get a deep view into the life of an older Ellie as she talks to the townsfolk, discusses personal issues with her companions, and overall just lives her life. The Last of Us Part 2 is one of the most somber and melancholic games of recent times, and this opening more than prepares you for that. Number 6. Celeste Celeste begins with a very simple idea. You're a character climbing a mountain, but it gets a lot more complicated than that. Because in its core, Celeste is a story about real life struggles and the opening to the game more than prepares you for this sense of serene and melancholic storytelling. The 16-bit style of music disappears into your psyche as you slowly ascend through the complex stages. The difficulty gets more and more severe as you go on and you will die, a lot, but nonetheless, you'll keep pressing on. And as you do, the game slowly eases you into its mechanics. You don't even have to read any of the tutorials. Everything you need to know can just be figured out through the level design. And that's the sign of a truly great game. Number 5. Persona 5 Royal it could be said that Persona games do not always have the most memorable openings, but Royal is a very special game in an excellent series. All games leading up to this one feature long and convoluted exposition-heavy sequences that are more boring than anything else. Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal have this same problem, but before you reach this long segment, you get one of the coolest openings to any game, the Casino Heist. Now you might not have the greatest idea of exactly what's happening or who any of the characters are that are talking to you, but you'll get there. What the casino heist does is give you a shot of adrenaline as you parkour through the ceiling. Life will change, an incredible track in the game is blaring in the background as you sneakily take down guards and get used to the turn-based combat. You get an idea as to who the characters are and even who you're playing as with the use of out of context yet meaningful dialogue. And the whole thing ends dramatically and unexpectedly as Joker is detained and put in an interrogation room, setting off the events for the rest of the game. Number 4. Resident Evil 2 Remake How do you improve upon a classic among classics? This is the question Capcom manages to answer in every second of the remake of the beloved Resi 2. And this can especially be seen in the opening. In a sequence that was just a poorly rendered cutscene in the original game, you're introduced to a gas station that is seemingly abandoned. Slowly you walk in as you try to piece together in your mind what exactly happened here. And then it happens. The zombie reveal. The moment you see that undead pop on the screen, you instantly start shooting it with everything you have, only to realize you're too scared to shoot properly and waste all your bullets. 
It's an eerie and atmospheric opening that is doubly terrifying, but also leaves you really excited to see what's going to happen next. Number three, Red Dead Redemption 2. If we had to sum up the opening of Red Dead Redemption 2 in one word, we'd probably go with cinematic. Snow covers the camera as you're slowly shown each of the main characters galloping. There's a heavy sense of atmosphere, of meaningful depth. You can almost feel the snowdrops as they fall onto the characters. All of this is followed by simple conversations from the main gang of the game, which tells you everything you need to know about the story without it ever being too blatantly obvious. The early missions you do afterwards serve as great introductions to not only the world, but also the gameplay and the characters. As you walk around, you feel the weight of your movement and the difficult terrain that Arthur Morgan, your protagonist, has to traverse. It's something truly impressive, and it does all of this while introducing you to each of the main characters and major story beats, setting you up for the rest of the game. Number two, Spider-Man Miles Morales. The first Spider-Man PS4 game was pretty universally heralded as one of the best comic book games ever made. Part of that reason is because of the beginning, showing you the mechanics of the game all while giving you a cinematic takeover sequence where you defeat the kingpin himself, Wilson Fisk. But it's the spin-off that takes the spot for this list. Unlike in the first game, here you step into the shoes of the more inexperienced Miles Morales. And viewing the world from the eyes of an underdog changes things a lot. You can feel the switch in style from Peter to Miles in not only the combat, but the story as well, making it very clear that these are two different Spider-Men and not just the same character with a different coat of paint. You then have the chase sequence with the Rhino, taking you across all of New York during the holidays and ending with one final battle where Miles attains his powers of Venom. Number 1. Final Fantasy VII Remake The bombing mission from the original Final Fantasy VII is one of the greatest openings to any video game ever, and somehow the remake manages to make that even better. The visuals are breathtaking when compared to the original game. Square Enix took the models from the PS1 classic and turned them into fully fleshed out characters. Cloud and Barrett have more personality to them, the characters actually look like they're fighting, and Midgar has never felt so real. On top of that, the music blares at all times, ensuring the adrenaline keeps pumping. The way you slowly move into the reactor oozes with atmosphere and all you want to do is complete your mission. All of this leads into a massive boss battle that's miles better than the original and truly tests everything you've learned about the game's mechanics so far. The original is near perfection, but this game definitely brought it into the modern age. That's our list of recent video game openings that blew us away, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other entries that'd be suitable for this list. As always, I've been Jess from More Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.